In this video, I'm going to show you a two-man nano blitz. I probably shouldn't be showing you this. I definitely shouldn't be showing you this. This is a two-man nano blitz that's going to come in consistently if your opponent blocks the running back. And I just said that. If your opponent blocks the running back, this blitz is actually going to be coming in more consistently than if they don't. This, in my opinion, is one of the best blitzes in the game, if not the best blitz in the game. Once you've established that they have to block somebody and they start blocking the running back, this is my favorite blitz in the game. And it is not nickel 3-3. Three, three. It is actually nickel 3-3 three, three cub. And I'm going to show it to you against Bunch and why I think that this blitz is a game-changing blitz. Now, if you want to get my entire Nickel 33 Cup defensive ebook, the link is in the description. Join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, again, the link is down below. All you need to do is make sure that Mike Blood Zero is in your audibles, which it already should be if you are running the 4-6 playbook. Um, and really, any 3-3 Cub should have that as the default blitz audible. Though the reason we want to come out in nickel 3-3, I'm going to show you, actually. So uh, we're just going to come out in 3-3 Cub. We're not going to come out in nickel 3-3. We're not going to put safeties at linebacker. And I want to show you what happens. What you're going to notice here is I'm going to put this guy on a contain, and I'm going to stand down here with my user. And what's going to happen is if I snap this ball, um, the blitz is going to come in, right? Perfect. The problem is this when they start to block when they start to block the the running back what you're going to notice here is this blitz is no longer as good as you can see right there the blitz the blitz get picked up got picked up i i did get a shed uh but the blitz did get picked up okay so we're going to show you now what this looks like and then three three normal and we're going to sub in a safety at this position in this example is ted hendrix but any safety will do. Okay, if you're playing in regs, you can do this. Just put a safety there, and it's going to make all the difference in the world. And you're going to see why in just a second. So I'm going to go down to Mike Blitz Zero. I'm going to QB Contain. That's it. That's the only adjustment that I made. And you're going to notice that we're going to get pressure off that left side. Now, again, they didn't block a running back, so what's the big deal? The big deal is what's going to happen when they block a running back. I said that this blitz is the best blitz in the game for someone that's blocking their running back consistently. So, again, we're going to Contain. And now, because we have a safety in that position, he has better agility, and he's going to loop around the running back, and he is going to sack, sack the quarterback every single time. Now, let's take this a step further. Let's turn this into a four-man blitz. How will we do that? We're going to take that right side linebacker that's blitzing, and we're going to put him in any coverage that we want. I like to man him up on the tight end, and I like to drop some type of zone over to the bunch side, whether it be a deep half, whether it be a purple, whatever you want to do. So that's what the setup looks like. And what you're going to notice here is if they block their running back, this blitz is going to come through either around the edge or in that case, we've got to disengage to the A-gap. Um, and that's actually really consistent. Like, it's really consistent. So I'll show it to you again. They're going to block their running back. And you see now Ted Hendricks loops around the guy, and we get a sack. As I said, I think this is a game-breaking blitz. It's one of the best blitzes in the game, um, especially if your opponent likes to block their running back. So now what we're going to do, is we're going to zone out or coverage everybody on the right side. We can put them in anything that we want. So I could, I'll give you an example. We're going to drop a vert hook, and we're going to drop a curl flat. So now we're only blitzing three people. Now the key to this is we're going to contain, and we're going to stand off on the right side of the run, the opposite side of the running back. So in this example, that would be to the right side of the center. And you're going to see our three-man blitz. That time it actually did get picked up. Um, I actually think the three-man blitz, ironically, is worse than the two-man blitz, which is crazy to say out loud. Um, but let me show it to you again. Here's the three-man blitz. Again, I want to stand to the right, and what you'll see is he will loop around the running back every time. Every time he will loop around the running back. Part of the problem can be in practice mode. Sometimes what happens, I think that's what actually happened last play, is I stood here for too long. You want to, like... Like you want the play to like happen, of course. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you what this looks like in the situation where we're just going to drop everybody except for the uh, the left side players. So as you can see right here, we're only blitzing two players. Everybody else is in a zone. Um, I'm going to take this defensive lineman and we'll put him in a vert hook too. He doesn't have to be in a spy. And what you're going to see is we're going to get two man pressure that is going to loop around the, quarter, the running back and give us a sack. We blitzed two players, and they blocked the running back on the side that we were blitzing from, and they can't stop this blitz. 
this is why I think 3-3 Cup is one of the best defenses in the game. Because it is almost impossible to stop this blitz with a running back. Um, that time we did get picked up. Now, one of the reasons why we could get picked up, one little adjustment that you can make, I want to say real quickly. Pin, um, if you're if you're finding that you're getting picked up, pinch your linebackers and crash your line out. That'll that'll basically solve it. Um, you don't normally have to do that in game. Sometimes practice mode can be a little finicky just with the way it works. And what you'll see here is he comes. I also think Ted Hendricks might just have bad agility. So let me put somebody else there that's not as tall um, and is a little faster, and you'll probably see that it will work even better. Agility is what matters. That's why you want to put safeties at that position. Um, agility is, makes all the difference in the world um, to the splits. That's kind of what I've found through my testing. So we'll put Steve Atwater in. I'm going to come out with the running back just blocking now. And, again, I want to stand to the right. And you see, he loops around every single time. Atwater, I think, has better agility than Ted Hendricks. That's why it's going to be a little bit more consistent. But again, just put somebody there with high agility. The higher the agility, the better. But the bottom line is in game, most of the time, this is not going to be a necessity. Like most of the time, from my experience, it's just going to come in every single time. Um, you just loop every single time. Okay? So super, super simple blitz, right? Super simple. Literally all you do is contain. And if you're, again, if you're having issues with the blitz not working, one of the things that's probably happening is, let me show you, if they put the running back on a route, watch this. You'll see here, two-man blitz comes completely free. It has to do with you standing on the opposite side of the running back and having a safety there that has really good agility. So again, we're going to drop everybody off. So we're only blitzing two players, and that time, the blitz didn't come in, okay? Why wouldn't it come in? Well, a couple reasons. First and foremost, agility. <laughs> Secondly, we might have stood there too long. Um, and thirdly, again, you want to cross, ideally, the nose target, because basically we're trying to get, what we're trying to do is get that tackle to pinch and to go guard uh, or to go block the DT, and it's really helpful when the running back's blocking because the running back's the only person that can block uh, the defensive tackle, okay? So some of this has to do with the movement of the game. A lot of this blitz is really based around the fact that the movement of the game is really interesting, <laughs> to say the least. And if you, can, if you can get this blitz to work for you when they start blocking their running back, it just makes all the difference in the world. So it takes a five-man blitz. And basically, you can turn it into as little as a two-man pressure against a blocked running back and have success. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want you to try this blitz out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also, if you want to learn the entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Get you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description. Thanks for watching.